Hello, and this is our time of devotion and prayer for Sunday, June the 14th, 2020. How many times do you suppose that the followers of Jesus Christ gathered around a fire uh, early in the morning or into the evening to ask Jesus questions about the events of the day? How many times did the followers of Jesus ask, how do we respond, Jesus? How do we show your love for these people who are angry and are hurting and are uncertain? So we gather at this time to look at one response of Jesus to the disciples a response, and Jesus taught them how to pray. But uh, we begin our time together this evening in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin our time together in a word of prayer. Let us pray. O God, throughout the ages, you judge your people with mercy, and you inspire us to speak your truth. By your Spirit, anoint us for lives of faith and service, and bring all people into your forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. So another life lost, Rashad Brooks in Atlanta, just yesterday. Another family hurt, another community in turmoil, another evening of protests now spinning out of control. So what do we do? I don't know about you, but for me, uh, these can be sleepless nights. And uh, I find myself wondering, what can I do? Almighty God, what can I do? And we look to the gospel according to Matthew in chapter 6, when the disciples came to Christ, and they were always seeing Jesus in prayer, and they were asking Jesus how to pray. Because, my friends, in these situations, this, this is what we can do here and now, as we can pray, yes, we are moved to action. But at this time, at this early hour, we come to God in prayer. And Jesus said these words from Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 7. Talking to the disciples about prayer. Talking to the followers of Christ, men and women, those who were gathered there to learn, to hear, to be guided. Jesus said this, When you pray, don't babble on and on as people of other religions do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them. For Almighty God knows exactly what you need even before you ask Him. Pray like this. Our Father in Heaven, may Your name be kept holy. May Your kingdom come soon. May Your will be done on earth as it is in Heaven. Give us today the food we need, and forgive us our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from evil. So the Lord's Prayer is a prayer that many of us learn when we're young. And I want to share with you that... After I graduated from high school, I went into the military. Uh, That was the time in my life when I, in many ways, walked away from God. God was with me always. Uh, I was raised in the church. But that was when I was away from family. I was in the military. And it wasn't until I found myself very lonely that I desperately needed God and called out to God. And the way that I called out to God was through the Lord's Prayer. It was through the Lord's Prayer that I was able to 
develop a prayer life and great confidence in knowing that God hears our prayers, that God heard my prayers thousands of miles away from home, alone many times. So this is the prayer that Jesus brought to the disciples. And this prayer serves as, in many ways, a framework for a greater prayer life for each one of us. So Martin Luther looked at the Lord's Prayer and developed seven petitions from the Lord's Prayer, which really allows us to take the Lord's Prayer and expand it into different parts, different pieces, and and build from those pieces. The first part, our Father who art in heaven. So that's the first petition. That first petition reminds us that Almighty God reigns over heaven and earth. God's power, God's might, God's majesty. So we can build from that. We can build a prayer that says, Lord, I know that you govern heaven and earth and that you are in control of all things. So we acknowledge God's might and power in that first petition. And it goes on and on. And then in the very last petition is the, is the amen. And we say amen with confidence. We say amen as a yes, yes. God, I know you hear my prayers. So I invite you to look to a beautiful book that Martin Luther wrote so that we would have some guidance, and that's the small catechism, and look to the seven petitions of the Lord's Prayer. I know that it's difficult to be wondering what you should do, but I will tell you again and again that the one thing we can do right away is we can pray we can pray. I want to give you an example from a book that I turn to from time to time called Sacred Pauses on a prayer that the author built from the petitions from the Lord's Prayer. So I invite you to listen to this. O God, creator of the universe and my closest friend, reveal yourself in this broken world. Pour out your compassion and reign over us. Feed those who are hungry. Free those who are oppressed. Forgive us our failures. And find us again and again and again. All praise to you. Today and to eternity. Amen. So prayer can be difficult, especially in difficult times. So one thing we can do is we can look to the prayer that Jesus gave the disciples as a guide. And we can build from that prayer. So it's my prayer that you did actually rest. It's my prayer that you find your way to worship online, that you receive the truth of God's word and that you are reassured that God continues to walk alongside us and accompany us even in these tragic times. Let's close our time uh, together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, whose son was both victim and victor, we cry to you for those who suffer abuse especially the family and the community where another young black man was killed. Be with them in their confusion and pain. Heal the wounds of body and mind. Break open the prisons of fear, self-doubt, and despair, and strengthen them to face the future with faith, hope, and courage. Reach out to them with your love, that they may be made whole in body, mind, and spirit. Through the healing touch of the suffering Christ. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. 
my friends, until I see you again, wherever that might be. Peace be with you. Peace be with all. Amen.